ഹലോ ഡിയർ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് ഹാർട്ടി വെൽക്കം ടു അനദർ എപ്പിസോഡ് ഓഫ് അക്കാഡമിക് ടൈപ്പ് സെറ്റിംഗ് യൂസിംഗ് ലാറ്റെക് ലെറ്റ് മീ റിവ്യൂ സം കൺസെപ്റ്റ്സ് വി ഹാവ് ലേൺ സോ ഫാർ ലാറ്റെക് ഈസ് എ ടൈപ്പ് സെറ്റിംഗ് ആൻഡ് ഡോക്യുമെൻറ്റ് പ്രിപ്പറേഷൻ സിസ്റ്റം ദാറ്റ് ഇൻക്ലൂഡ്സ് ഫീച്ചേഴ്സ് ഡിസൈൻഡ് ഫോർ ദി പ്രൊഡക്ഷൻ ഓഫ് ടെക്നിക്കൽ ആൻഡ് സയൻറ്റിഫിക് ഡോക്യുമെൻറ്റേഷൻ ടൈപ്പ് സെറ്റിംഗ് ജേണൽ ആർട്ടിക്കിൾസ് ടെക്നിക്കൽ റിപ്പോർട്ട്സ് ബുക്സ് and slide presentations or we can simply say that latex is used mainly for typesetting of scholarly communications so it is a typesetting language used for writing formatted documents in a highly controlled fashion while examining these scholarly communications as we just mentioned it reveals that they have some clear rules it contains title author their affiliations abstract keywords sections subsections and also numbers for each sections and so on like that we can say different uniform pattern in different scholarly communications it can be in different form as we see in this example these are two pages of different articles here the first one is in two column format and the second one is in one column format you can say uh, same elements in different fashion in two different documents like title author name affiliation then abstract keywords etc in different forms so our today's thought is how exactly are these aligned This class is set aside to give you a clear understanding of them. Let's begin with title. The title part of a document usually consists of the name of the document, name of authors and sometimes a date. This is the basic code used to create a title. You can give title of the document within this braces, title, then author and if it is required you can also give date also after specifying title author and date you must issue a make title command for this part to be the type set by default all entries produced by these commands are centered on the lines in which they appear if a title text is too long to fit in one line it will be broken automatically this is another version of title like the previous code snippet uh, this will also produce a title but more fields are added here this particular format is uh, generally used when more number of authors are there see here there is a title author 1 and his affiliations then author 2 and his or her affiliations and at the bottom line you can see date in a specific format let us see the code snippet of this in order to uh, type set the title you can use slash title keyword after that different fields of a of an author is given by slash author then give the name author 1 after that to backslash then address line 1 followed by to backslash and each fields are separated by to backslash how will you give the second author the slash and command tells the compiler that there is another author so it will be aligned in side by side if you are omitting this and and giving two backslashes these two authors are printed one after another in two lines if you do not want any date to be printed you can simply give slash date simply give slash date and uh, this will leave the date part empty with not specify do not give anything within these braces now let us see an example as usual we can see the code snippet in the left pane and the output in the right side first let us see the output the title of this document is is justified true belief knowledge it is written by edmund gettier and date is also printed so this is our title and uh, edmund gettier is the author and this is the date let us see the 
source part we begin the document with document class size is 12 point then size is a4 paper see this the document is a book type book class document and we set the page number in the preamble section as page numbering roman it will globally set the page number option as roman letter and we are beginning the document after that i am specifying slash title within the curly braces our title is given is justified true belief knowledge then the other title component author slash author edmund gettier after that slash date march 5 1963 see this these piece of codes from title to date creates a template or creates a format for the date and once you issue slash make title command it will be printed see another example the same book kind of document is prepared over here also and the page number is roman we are beginning the document using slash begin command and here we have one more than one author the title is spatio temporal clustering on semantic trajectories so let us see the output first our title spatio temporal clustering on semantic trajectories we have two authors one is dr nishad abdul karim then i am giving the affiliation of first author after that we have a second author also uh, dr sajimon ibrahim it is given like this and at the bottom line we can see the date part also how we achieve this just to give slash title and specify the title after that first author dr nishad abdul karim and separate each fields my affiliation or the author's affiliation department and other other fields separated by two slashes slash slash and how you separate two different authors using slash and command after giving the details of two different authors you give the date here you can see one more command slash thanks what is that here the slash thanks command prepare a footnote at this point usually we give the details of contact author and all in this part here uh, within the slash thanks command i gave research report and it is printed as a footnote the general method of producing footnotes is to type slash footnote before going to the next example let us closely look at this source once again here the document class type is book because of that the entire title is printed in a single page and now we are going to see another example the same code is given here also and apart from the previous title section i have given a text also so what is the difference is that here the document type is an article so the title and author section the entire title part is printed along with the introductory content or it can be either the introduction or abstract or something we will come to the abstract section uh, now itself so since it is an article it is printed with the same title content no other difference with the previous example here here we have given the same uh, title author and uh, affiliations of two different authors then date is specified thanks command is also included here this is the point the title is printed in a separate page for the document classes book and report and in the first page of the document for the class article so since this is an article the title is printed in the first page itself abstract is another important section in any scholarly communication it is a concise summary of an experiment or a research project it serves two purposes first to help the potential readers determine the relevance of our paper for their own research and to communicate key findings to those who don't have time to read the whole paper while preparing abstract of your journal article you have to taken care of in latex there are facilities to prepare abstract in decent manner see these are two different article templates in the first one it is single column and the second article is the two column format in these two different paper templates you can see abstracts are printed in a specific manner let us see how it is achieved 
a slight modification is done from the previous source code an abstract of the document in special format can be produced by the commands abstract begin abstract and end abstract anything given within these two commands are printed as abstract are treated as abstract in the report class it appears in a separate file see this here the abstract is printed as a separate page since it is a report class in the article class it appears below the title information on the first page this is another example here uh, same abstract environment is included but the document type is an article so what happens is along with the title section the abstract is printed the abstract command is not available in the book class now let us explore more sections in the content part of a document a book is usually divided into chapters and chapters are divided into sections sections into subsections and so on latex provides the following hierarchy of sectioning commands chapter section subsection sub subsection paragraph and sub paragraph except chapter all these are available in article class also see this example the document class is report let us see the output first chapter 1 the information and communication revolution followed by that 1.1 introduction and different paragraphs are printed in this now let us concentrate on the source file here the document class specified is report and we are beginning the document chapter title is given using slash chapter command slash chapter command and i have provided the information and communication revolution within the curly braces of slash chapter so it is printed accordingly we are not providing chapter number and all but latex taken care of it chapter 1 information and communication revolution is printed here after that slash section introduction so it automatically provides numbering 1.1 introduction and uh, we provided different contents coming to bottom part of the source code see this slash chapter welcome to the revolution so this is the first page and you can see the page number at the bottom part let me show you the second page of this document see this is the second page chapter 2 welcome to the revolution how is it achieved see chapter this is the source part source part chapter welcome to the revolution so it automatically incremented the chapter number chapter 2 welcome to the revolution and after that you can see another section introduction so the numbering of introduction is 2.1 this is automatically updated so next section is 2.1.1 like that some more points about this chapter section and all in the book and the report class the chapter command shift to the beginning of the new page and print the word chapter and number and beneath it the name we have given the argument of the command the section command produces two numbers separated by dot indicating the chapter number and section see this 2.1 here 2 is chapter and 1 is the section after that name we have given for that section it does not produce any text like section subsections have three numbers indicating the chapter section and subsection see here this is the subsection transformation so here 2 is section then 1 is section and next level numbering point 1 this is number of subsection sub subsection and commands below it in the hierarchy do not have any numbers in the article class section is the highest hierarchy and it produces single number like chapter in book 
see this example here subsection transformation so it is printed as 2.1.1 transformations here you can see paragraph subparagraph and all so if you provide paragraph it will be printed like this no numbering will be there for paragraph we can give paragraph command to print the note and coming to subparagraph it has an additional indentation it is shifted from the left to margin sub note sub note is printed like that because of this sub paragraph command some more points about this in the article class section is highest in the hierarchy and it produces single number like chapter in book it, it does not produce any text like section then there is one more option section star name has the same effect as a section but produces no number for this section so if you provide slash section and a star over here that will not give any numbering section numbering without numbering it will give the command title as specified within the braces we have seen this example just before paragraph sub paragraph so paragraph is given printed like this as not then sub paragraph like this so dear friends today we have explored more on the parts of the document uh, we understood how a title is created using author and their affiliations then remember the make title command then followed by that abstract is discussed and chapter and its sections so i request you to prepare an article based on all these commands Thank you all. See you in the next class.